and welcome to another video. Uh, today, me and Max will be talking about the music in the Smash Bros. The remixes and the depth songs from Banjo and Kazooie. Say hi, Max. Hey. Um, so, yeah. Um, I played the Banjo and Kazooie, the original, on my Nintendo 64. Um, as a uh, child, and it was my favorite game on the Nintendo 64. And I didn't uh, beat it, or even 100, 100, I didn't 100% it, or even beat it, until recently when I went back and uh, did it on the replay. And then I also did Banjo 2 while I was at it. And in between those two, I did Nuts and Bolts. Um, what about you, Max? Uh, I played Banjo Kazooie as a child. I got maybe like as far as Mad Monster Mansion about what was about it. Yeah. But I just because I never worked out how to get to Rusty Bucket Bay. I never wor worked out how to open the door. I I never worked out where it was. I, I, I no, I just never wor worked out how to open the notes door because I feel like the notes that you collected in a thing would carry over, and like if you went back and got like got one note and then next and then got another note, then that would ma mean you have two notes. But it doesn't work like that. I don't know why I never figured that out until. Um, where the, where the yeah, saved after every time you died. yeah I, I was thinking more Banjo 2E kind of logic rather than Mario 64 logic. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So let's have a listen to these songs. Ban the main theme of Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> I I really I'm like talking about TV on my headphones because it'd be a lot easier that way, and I don't want, don't want two sets of music playing into the video. Yeah, but I really like the main theme of Banjo Kazooie because um, it is like bouncy and it gets you like hyped up. And um, my favorite part is what part um, of the intro. Was when just like um, Banjo was just like knocking away all of Mumbo's instruments. Just like, no, no, stop it, wah! No, you're not using that one. You're not using that one. Use, use one that's appropriate. What? It's like, it's like, no, you're not using that one. Ah. Uh, yeah. Use one that's appropriate. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, and it is very energetic and it does take me back to like um, when I was a kid and I booted up the N64 to play. Banjo and Kazooie and the, the, that intro played. I always watched the intro all the way through. I knew I could skip it. I always chose not to. Yeah, same with me. So yeah, still holds up today and definitely one of my favourite um, songs. Let's see, have I? Yeah, I've, added, I've already added it to my favourites. Um, no, what? No, I've already added it to mine as well. Yeah. Um, are you ready to go on to the next song? Uh, yeah. Spiral Mountain. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, but there is a reason why this was the song playing when they revealed Banjo and Kazooie. What do you say? Well, no, this is the reason why so, like, the main theme of Banjo Kazooie was playing is because this, while the main theme of Banjo, -Kazoo Banjo and Kazooie is great and I love it, this just has so much energy to it and it is so memorable. Um, are you ready to go on to Bumbo's Mountain? Yeah. Yeah, I... Yeah, this is a quite good remix. Da -da -da. Yeah, it, I have spent, I have probably spent 
Um, the most amount of time in Banjo and Kazooie in Mumbo's Mountain. I've literally spent so much time there, I could probably speed run Mumbo's Mountain on his own. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I just lo love Mumbo's Mountain. You ready to move on to Treasure Co Trail Clue? Go! Wins are uh, difficult. Fine? Yeah, go on. Okay, so that little bit they added on at the beginning where it sort of takes you... That, that is actually a nice little like, reference to the, um, what, what is his name, Muncher that lives in the uh, waters, the shark guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I guess that's a reference to him because it, it like starts off but then it like goes like, um, like kind of, I don't know if it is um, the song that he played that, um, but it definitely is within the same vein as uh, like um, the sa song that we play when he appears. Yeah. And yeah, I am really liking these remixes because for the most part they are the original songs which were great, but they're more energetic. Yeah. And I do think that um, I do these do feel like if the N64 wasn't so limited because of the technology of the time this do, these do feel like these would be what would play in these areas now if only uh, microsoft would uh, put uh, uh, remake uh, banjo and banjo kazooie banjo tui and those bolts for the nintendo switch well they're not going to do that because it's only going to because they would only make a lot of money and not all of the money because microsoft is a greedy ass company Yeah. Um, freeze easy peak. <laughs> oh, this is just the original song from um, Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah. 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 I, I would probably, right, um, so my mp3 player currently runs off, like, um, uses micro SD card, so what I'm probably going to do during winter is I'm going to get a micro SD card, just a small one, a uh, cheap, a cheap small one, and I'm just going to punch all, put a bunch of my favourite winter theme and Christmas songs on there, and 3 easy Peak is definitely going to be on there. I should probably. Uh, oh, I want. I want. Um, MP3 music for every. One for every. Um, season. So, like, one for. Some, one for spring, summer, fall, and winter. And you know, Spooky Scary Skeletons is going to be on my fall one. Oh, yeah, no. Click Lock Woods, yeah. Really. Is, is Click Lock Woods on you? Oh, we're on to your favourite one, Gobi's Valley. Again, I it it this does feel like it fits with Gobi's Valley, and and again, if the N64 wasn't as limited limited as it was, this does feel like it would be. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then after this, we'll see if I'll, if Mad Monster Mansion will make it onto my fall uh, songs playlist. Uh, you've already said that you you don't um, like the Mad Monster Mansion. I've only been to Gobi's Valley one time, and that's how big of an impression it left on me. I already know this. Uh, I can. I already remember this off my heart, pretty much. And you can't say say well we've been listening to it when we were smashing because um, the song resets after every battle, so we only listen to like what the first like couple of minutes of it. I don't know. Well, not even the first few like 30 seconds maybe. Uh, 
Hey, there it is. Yeah, it's sort of like um, more safe for you right now. Yeah, it's still good as Valley, but it's like with the guitar. Ben? Where is it? Is it? Maybe I'm at the wrong bit then. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, move on to the next one before there we get too distracted. Mad Monster Mansion. I am liking it more right now. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no, this actually is better. But it's... Mm, I don't think that's the same atmosphere. But I think it's more because... Right, so this would be... This feels more like something you'd hear. Like, if you were like in a Haunted Mansion roller coaster kind of thing. Where the original is more like if you were just like walking through a um, spooky area. So they, they're going for like different things. I can definitely tell how this is supposed to be. This actually, this is more energetic and it starts off bigger with like full orchestral music. So it's definitely not going for the same atmosphere, it's going for something new. And I think that's probably what the, what the, what they, the best thing they could have done if they weren't going to just like put the original song in here. Because the original song, the atmosphere was perfect. The only way they could, uh, you know, just uh, uh, not make it any worse is by doing a different take on it. Yeah, also they have to make all these into like, um, fear of a fighting game. Yeah. This is Klungo. This should, this should be, right, practically the same. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't feel too different. It's so, I, I, I never really... It's too easy. You don't fight Klungo at all in the original game, and you fight him three times in Tui, and I can beat him three times like five seconds, well, like 20 seconds, max. Ah. I haven't played Gwinty's Revenge. Uh, yeah, I, can, I, don't, I don't know. I can't really compare this to Kondo's Battle because, again, I beat him very quickly, so I never really got to listen to the music all that much. Like, I could go back to Chewie and, uh, and um, listen to it in the jukebox, so I've got all the songs and off in the jukebox. But yeah, it is still good. This is Mr. Pat. Oh my god. Be thankful you haven't played Banjo Tooie. Sometimes, because Mr. Patch's boss fight is a ball ache. I've had the first four seconds and I already hate it. Yeah, you hate clowns. Yeah, this. The fight against Mr. Patch has took place in a, um, you know, uh, tent where, like, a circus tent. It took place in a circus tent. Ryan? Uh, Witchy World, yeah. He, yeah, he's a boy because you have to hit the patches on his body. But you have to do it while you're flying, so you can't like stop in mid-air to aim. 
you have to, you're constantly moving while aiming, and if you don't have homing eggs, it's going to take you a while. I already hate this, I don't like this thing. Okay, let's move on to, um, Woo Fak Fak. So Woofak Fak is a fish that lives in the Davy, and uh, it like lives next to Davy Jones's locker in the game. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. And as somebody who's raged at Woofak Fak, because I try, I have been trying to beat him. Um, all of the bosses in under, in under 15 minutes. Um, doing his was a pain in the ass. Was, his boss fight is almost as big as a ball like as patches. Almost. Yeah, I've 100%ed Kazooie, Tui, and Nuts and Bolts. Well, actually, no, that I lie. It's a white lie. I still need to go back and do all of the, like, Mumbo Saves the Universe ones. I haven't done them. But that's literally the only thing I have left to do. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely go back and do Kazooie. It is a lot of fun. Anyway, um, I guess we'll see you guys here then. Um, regarding the remixes of Banjo and Kazooie, oh my god, they are so good! I love them. They all I are either um, you know, the originals or um, they they they're the originals, or they improve on what the originals were, or like or with the um, Mad Monster Mansion one, it's a different take on it. And all of the so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start planning out like uh, my um, my season themed uh, songs and um, Spiral Mountain is definitely going to be a spring and summer one, um, as well as Mumbo's Mountain, Freeze Easy Peak, uh, Treasure Trove Cove is going to be a summer one, Freeze Easy Peak is going to be a winter one. Gobi's Valley is going to be a summer one. Mad Monster Mansion is going to be a fall one. Um, and yeah. Moonbet makes sense for the autumn and summer as well. Yeah, fall, autumn, whatever you want to say. I really, do, I really don't care about like, um, calling it fall or autumn. Uh, it, technically because the British way of saying it is autumn, but I just watched uh, so much like um, American movies and TV shows I just say fall or uh, I've just been hardwired to say autumn by now. Yeah. Um, Mind you, um, SETI, there's weird like, uh, SETI is English and Couch is American. Yeah. Well, and this to say, I, I really don't get why the Americans have to have weird names for things. Anyway, um, with, with that, that, with having a large majority of the, uh, um, a large portion of the world that offended that because I just called their language uh, silly. Goodbye, everybody.